Hello. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the classroom. Come on in. Hi, everyone. Hello, Bobby and Bo. Everett, Isaiah, and Elias from California. Hi, everybody. Hello, Ivy and Eddie in Ottawa. Nice to see you. Lydia has a little pumpkin with her. Look at this bird pumpkin I have. Ooh. Well, welcome everybody to the spooky classroom. Yeah, we're a little bit spooky today because Halloween is coming up very soon. And when it's Halloween time, we get to dress up in costumes and have some spooky fun. And there's lots of pumpkins that we can make faces on like this one. Take a look. I made a spooky face here with some toys that I just stuck onto the pumpkin. And I have one more that needs to go on. Do you know where this should go? Hmm. It looks like a witch's hat. So that means it should go on top, right? Let's see, put it in. There we go. Ooh, it's a spooky witch. <laughs> oh, Ivy's dressed up as a witch right now. Two spooky witches. <laughs> it's a spooky face. We can make another face on our pumpkin. On the other side, I have some other toys here that we can use and make it all together. But first, let's sing a big hello to all our friends watching today. That's all of you. Let's wave and we'll sing to everybody. We have the Boyer kids are hanging out in the classroom from Virginia. And it's Emma's birthday. Woohoo! And Emma wants to celebrate with all her classroom friends. A big happy birthday, Emma, from all your friends here in the classroom. Let's wave and sing a big hello to everybody. Hello, hello, what's your name? Hello, hello, what's your name? My name is Katie. What's your name? Let's hear it nice and loud. I can't hear you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Let's wave hello. Hello, hello. Hello to Mania from Texas. Hello, hello. And Addie in Kansas. My name is Katie. What's your name? I see Clara and Anna and Laura from Brazil and David and Lucia from Spain. Nice to meet you. Let's be friends. A big hello to all our friends. Ahana and Moana in Honolulu. Hi. Ellie. Hello to Ellie and Martin in New Jersey and Noah in Florida and Brody in Scotland. Hi, everyone. It's so nice to see you. Should we make our face on our pumpkin? Let's do it. We'll go over here. And we'll see all the different things I have. Some eyes. And what's this one? Hmm, that'll come in handy, I think. And that one. What are these? These look like two bolts. Hmm. Wonder what we should use the bolts for. All right, let's make this monster face together. We can start with the eyes. And put the eyes on our pumpkin. Be very careful. Stick our eyes on. Ooh, look at that. It looks kind of like a sleepy pumpkin. <laughs> Nai says, this is a nose. That's it, Nai. Where does the nose belong? Right here. That's it. We'll stick the nose on. Big green nose. Oh. Lenore says, it's scary. There we go, Videl. We got the nose on. And what about this? What's that one? Yeah, a mouth. Where should the mouth go? Up here? Is that right? <laughs> no. 
Over here? No. That's where an ear would go. Let's put the mouth down here under the nose. That's where it belongs. Stick it on. Makes making a jack-o'-lantern really easy when you have these toys. There we go. Now what about these bolts? Ah, Penelope knows what it, they're for. There's a monster that has the bolts on either side of its face like this. Yeah, we can put them in either side where the ears would go. And that will complete our spooky monster. Ooh, look at that. Spooky. Oh, Booma said we almost made a unibrow with the mouth. Yeah, that was silly putting the mouth up there. Nice job. Ooh, spooky monster. Yeah, Videl says it's like Frankenstein. It is a little like Frankenstein, isn't it? I like it. Let's put our spooky pumpkin monster. We'll put him over here. Looks great. We have lots of pumpkins in the classroom today. Let's count them together. Count with me. Go. One. Two, three, four, five. Wait, six? No, that's a bumble nub. There's five pumpkins in the classroom. Let's sing the song, Five Little Pumpkins, all together. I know that's one of our friends' favorite Halloween songs. One of their favorite super simple Halloween songs. Let's sing it all together. Ivy and Edie see the bumble num. Yeah, he's trying to be a pumpkin. All right, everybody. Time to sing along to five little pumpkins. One little pumpkin smiling, smiling. One little pumpkin smiling, smiling. One little pumpkin smiling, smiling. One little pumpkin is happy. Me too. Can you make a smiling face? Very nice. Let's make a pouting face. <laughs> Two little pumpkins pouting. Grumpy, huh. grumpy pumpkins. It's hard being grumpy when you want to smile. Let's be sleepy pumpkins. Three little pumpkins yawning, yawning. Three little pumpkins yawning, yawning. Three little pumpkins yawning, yawning. Three little pumpkins are. Sleepy. <sighs> Let's do four little pumpkins. Four little pumpkins crying, crying. Four little pumpkins crying, crying. Four little pumpkins crying, crying. Four little pumpkins, crying, crying. Four little pumpkins are sad. <laughs> Let's cheer up everybody and laugh, ha ha! Five little pumpkins laughing, laughing. Five little pumpkins laughing, laughing. Five little pumpkins laughing, laughing. Five little pumpkins, laughing, laughing. Five little pumpkins are playing. Nice job, everybody. Give yourselves a big clap. Cure Rose and Callum say it's time to laugh. That's right. The playing pumpkins are a lot like us. We're playing in the classroom, too. <laughs> oh, can the pumpkin sneeze, too? Link thinks that sneezing is funny. You're a big, achoo, sneezing pumpkins. That would be a good face to put on a jack-o'-lantern. There's lots of different faces 
you can make on your pumpkin. Can you think of some other ones? Link says a sneezing face. What about a scared face? <gasps> oh no! Oh, ooh, ee. That would be a good face for a pumpkin. What's another one? Um, oh, how about a silly face? Maybe a a really silly pumpkin face. <laughs> oh, Penelope's carving a pumpkin right now. Amazing. Well, what are you going to put on your pumpkin, Penelope? What kind of face are you going to make? I can't wait to see it. Let's make some different faces all together. Let me know some different pumpkin face ideas you have, and we'll sing about it all together with Can You Make a Happy Face? Yeah, I can make a happy face. Let's see your happy faces, everybody. Can you make a happy face? Happy face, happy face. Can you make a happy face? Jack-o-lantern. Keisha says a surprised face. <gasps> Let's try it. Can you make a surprised face? Surprised face. Surprised face, can you make a surprised face? Jack o lantern. <gasps> That's a good idea. Sarah says surprise face too. Nice job. And Aria says surprise. Let's see. Leo says a giggling face. <laughs> Let's try that. Can you make a giggling face? <laughs> giggling face. Giggling face, can you make a giggling face? Jack o' lantern, <laughs> Jack o' lantern, Jack o' lantern, Jack o' lantern, Jack o' lantern. <laughs> Let's see, Nae says, make a spooky face. Ooh, a scary face. Fidel says scary face too. Let's try it. Spooky. Can you make a scary face? Scary face. Scary face. Can you make a scary face? Jack o' lantern. Let's see your scary face. <laughs> That's a good one. Addy says a mad face. Let's try it. We'll go angry. Can you make an angry face? Angry face, angry face. Can you make an angry face? Jack o' lantern. Nice job. Jack o' lantern. Jack o' lantern. Jack o' lantern. Jack o' lantern. Let's see. Oh, Scarlet says a fishy face. That one might be a little tricky to do. You try and make a fishy face like this. Can you make a fishy face? Fishy face, fishy face. Can you make a fishy face? Jack o' lantern. It looks like a fish. Nice job. Oh, Sarah says, a tired face. Oh, let's do a tired face. Can you make a tired face? Tired face, tired face. Can you make a tired face? Jack o' lantern. Oh, let's see. Zarin says, an eating face. And the Tots and Tykes daycare says, hungry face. Hmm, how do you make a hungry face? Um, 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 um. Let's try. Can you make a hungry face? Hungry face, hungry face. Can you make a hungry face? Jack o' lantern. So hungry. Um, yummy. Georgia made a 
superhero pumpkin. She says we should make a brave face. Yeah, I think a brave face is standing tall and strong with a little smile. Can you make a brave face? Brave face, brave face. Can you make a brave face? jack o lantern Nice job. Let's do a couple more, everybody. How about an excited face? Santiago and Araya. Araya says, an excited face. Let's try it. Can you make an excited face? Excited face, excited face. Can you make an excited face? Jack o lantern. So excited. <laughs> Eliza says crying. Can you make a crying face? Crying face, crying face. Can you make a crying face? Jack o' lantern. <laughs> so sad. It's fun to try and make a crying face. Let's do one more. We'll do another big happy face all together. Can you make a happy face? Happy face, happy face. Can you make a happy face? Jack o lantern. Hooray! Give yourselves a big clap, everybody. Those are all really great ideas. If you haven't made your pumpkin yet, your jack o lantern, now you have lots of ideas for dis different kinds of faces. Nice job. Can you make a face like this? What kind of face is this one? A happy face. That's it. Can you make a happy face? Yay! <laughs> what about this one? Uh-oh. What kind of face is this? A sad face. Aww. What's this one? Yay! Happy face. Now, sad face. Happy face. Yay! Sad face. Happy. Yay! Sad. That's fun. This is a great jack-o'-lantern craft that you can try to make at home. And you can make any face that you like on it. A sad face. Or a happy face. I'll show you how you can do it. All right, this is such a fun craft. Put this over here. To make our jack-o'-lantern craft, we need some paper plates. Just regular paper plates. We need two of them and we're gonna paint them orange. You can just plop the paint right onto, or pr plop the paint onto the paper plate. That's a bit of a tongue twister, isn't it? Pop the paint onto the purp, no, the paper plate. Yes, if it was purple paint, it'd be even more of a tongue twister. Whew, okay. So we take the paint, we paint it all over, our paper plate on the back side of the paper plate. That's important. Not the front that we would put the food on. And I got this out so that I don't make my my desk messy like I did last week. Remember when I was painting the paper plate brown? I got our desk all brown. This time I have a little placemat. You might like to use a placemat at home too because paint can get messy. Put the orange paint all over our paper plate, all the way to the edges. Paint it all orange. And once it's all orange, you wanna set it aside to dry. And once the paint is dry, they're ready to decorate. So I have some that are already dry, so we can get busy decorating our jack-o'-lantern right away. So I'll put this aside for now. 
and bring out our dry paper plates. There they are, nice and orange, all dry. And now we can make our jack-o'-lantern face. For this, you just want to cut out some pieces of black paper into the shape that you want for your jack-o'-lantern face. And I have some here that I cut out earlier. Let's see if you can guess what face this is going to be. Ooh. I've got an eye here. We'll add it with just some glue. Can you guess what it's gonna be? Hmm. Two eyes, a nose, there we go, and a mouth. What do you think? <gasps> Ooh, what kind of face is that? <gasps> a surprised face, that's right. So surprised, that's a surprise pumpkin. Yeah, Ben says surprise. Are you surprised I made a surprised face? <laughs> it's a good one. I have another one here. Can you guess which one this is? Got all my pieces. This one will be different. On your jack-o'-lantern, you can make two different faces, or maybe you just like to make one face on one side. You could do that too. We got our eyes. Look at that. Okay, any guesses? Hmm, what could it be? We'll add the nose. There we go, we did this one that way, this one will go up. And our mouth. Can you guess? What's it gonna be? Ha ha! <laughs> it's a laughing pumpkin! Hee <laughs> hee! Oh, this pumpkin's so surprised because someone says boo. Maybe this pumpkin comes over and says boo. Oh, surprising. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> That'd be a good one. Yeah, Penelope and Sarah say happy. Yeah, Cooper says it's a smiley face. Yeah, I'm trying to do like a big laughing pumpkin. All right, so now that we have our two pumpkin faces, now it's time to make our big pumpkin shape. So to do that, we take the two pieces and put them back to back like this and you want to make sure that both of them are facing up like that so that when you turn your pumpkin around go boop boop they're both facing up to attach our pumpkins we're going to sew them together and to do that we're gonna place them together and use a hole punch to make some holes going around and don't worry if your plates get a little squished at this point that's okay, because then we're gonna puff it up. We're gonna go around the whole thing. Ooh, to be strong. And punch our holes. And then I'll show you how we connect them. You might wanna get a help with from a grown up with this part, because it can be a bit tricky. You have to be very strong. Oof. <laughs> Do you know what faces you're gonna make your pumpkins, everybody? Or what you're gonna be for Halloween? It's exciting. Yeah, Videl says a grown-up must help. This part's a little tricky. To punch the holes in your pumpkin. But the next part, we can definitely all do. Make sure it's lined up too, that's the tricky part too. There we go. One, two, three. Oh, did it. <laughs> Let's get the next one. Punch our hole. One, two, three. Yay! Sadie says, don't pinch your fingers. Good idea. Try and be very careful. My fingers are way over here. Punch that big hole. Almost around the whole thing. Oh, well, Levi's going to make a cat pumpkin face. That's a great idea, cat pumpkin. That'd be really cute. One, two, three. Whoa. And Finn's gonna be a pirate for Halloween. Arr. Now I was a pirate in the classroom last year for Halloween. One, two, three. 
that's our last one. Hooray! <laughs> all right, we punched all the holes. I'm gonna make them a little poofy again. There we go. All lined up, still looks good. Okay, now we have to use our holes and we're gonna sew our pumpkin together. This is a fun thing that everyone can try and do. It's good practice. So I have a piece of orange yarn here. You could use string or the orange yarn. And it helps, here's a little tip. If you take some tape and wrap it around the end of the yarn, that's gonna make it easier to put through the holes of your pumpkin. It's something a little more sturdy to hold on to and grab. So there we go. I'm gonna tie a little knot on the other side so it doesn't go through the hole too. And we'll be ready to sew our pumpkin. Hooray! Holden loves lacing projects. These are perf this is perfect for you, Holden. It's great practice. So we put it through both holes like this and pull, 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 pull all the way through. And look, it stays on the other side because we tied that knot. Then we'll loop it around and pull again through this one. There we go. Yay! Through this hole, it's gonna be a fun pumpkin. Our friend Jace is gonna be a vampire for Halloween. And Eli is going to be a ghost. Ooh. You're gonna look like this. Ooh. <laughs> oh, Isabel's excited to make our pumpkin craft. Yeah, you can make any face you like on your pumpkin. And it's fun to practice the sewing part of it too. There we go. Go all the way around. Pull through. Next. Yeah. Isabel's gonna be a dinosaur for Halloween. Wow. That's a great costume. Okay. So, we have only a couple holes left, so now is the time to stuff our pumpkin. We're gonna stuff it so it gets nice and round, like a real pumpkin shape. And you can stuff your pumpkin with all sorts of things. Tissues work really well, or newspaper. But I have an old plastic bag here that does a really nice job too. So we'll take our plastic bag and just stuff it inside our pumpkin. There we go. And it makes them all puffy, just like that. We'll make sure our pumpkin's nice and tight. There we go. Oh, it looks great. And let's keep sewing them up. Now we can keep going. Now these nice and stuffy. There we go. Rona's working on her pumpkin right now. I can't wait to see her finished pumpkin. She's making a beautiful painting. All the way around. Make sure your sewing is nice and tight. Might have to get a little tighter over here. Always pull through. There we go. Ta da! All the way around. And this one. There we go. I'm going to get it back through this one one more time. I think, if I can. I'm going to try. There we go. Yay, look, our stuffed pumpkin. I'm gonna tie a big knot here so he'll stay all sewed up. There we go. One more, just in case. All the way through. It's good practice try tying knots too when you might tie your shoes. Look at that. Oh, he looks so great. Now we'll cut off the rest of our string. There we go. And we have our surprise pumpkin. Oh, turn him around. Our laughing pumpkin, yay. Oh wait, our pumpkin needs a pumpkin stem, of course. So to make our stem, we'll just use some brown piece of paper and we'll cut a stem out 
with our scissors. Just to cut a big stem out here. There we go. That's a good pumpkin stem. Just add a little bit of glue. And to stick it in, we'll go right into the pumpkin like this. And we'll just squeeze a little bit and it'll stay in. Ivy thinks it's so cool! Yeah! I hope you try it at home. All right, let's try these different faces of our pumpkin. We got our surprised face. <gasps> oh! And then our laughing face. Ha 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 ha! Surprise face. <gasps> laughing face. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> it's so fun. You can make this at home and use whatever face you like. They're really fun. We have all the details in our description below and up on our website with lots of pictures so you can follow along and try and make it at home. And we stuffed this pumpkin with the plastic bag to make it big and puffy like a real pumpkin shape. But when you make a real jack-o'-lantern with a real pumpkin, you want to take all the insides out. And if you save the pumpkin seeds and roast them, then you could have a yummy snack like the Bumble Nums do. When you take the insides out of the pumpkin, it can be goopy and gooey and lots of fun. But the pumpkin seeds are a yummy snack. Have you ever tried eating pumpkin seeds before? I think they're really yummy. Let's take a little field trip over to the Bumble Nums kitchen and see how they make their petrified pumpkin seed snack. Ooh. Let's go, everybody. <laughs> The Bumble Nums. Today is Halloween, and the Bumble Nums are going to make petrified pumpkin seed snack mix. <laughs> but what's the spooky ingredient? One bucket of petrified pumpkin seeds. The Bumble Nums are on their way to the spooky pumpkin patch to collect the petrified pumpkin seeds they need for their petrified pumpkin seed snack mix. Are you ready, Humble? Yum! And how about you, Grumble? Yum! And how about you, Stumble? Yum! Yum! <laughs> Don't scare us like that, Stumble! <laughs> oh, did you see that, Bumble Nums? One of the pumpkins' faces moved! That means the pumpkins are ready for you to scare the seeds out of them! But how are you going to frighten them? Yum, yum, yum! It's a surprise? <laughs> All right, well, get to scaring! You're scaring them with spooky Halloween costumes. Spooktacular! The pumpkin seeds will be petrified in no time. Yum. Or not. Yum. Oh, what a macabre mummy! The pumpkins still aren't scared. Hey, maybe Stumble will have better luck. What terrifying costume is he wearing? Yum! Yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. Yum, 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 yum. Yum. Come on, Bumble Nums. You've got to spook them, or you can't make your petrified pumpkin seed snack mix. Now.
Now those are some ghastly ghost costumes, Bumble Nums. You look positively petrifying. Bumble Nums, if you're there, then who are... Yeah! Watch out, Bumble Nums! But also, don't forget the petrified pumpkin seeds. Yum! Yum! Yum, 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 yum! One bucket of petrified pumpkin seeds. That's all you need, Bumble Nums. Now let's get out of here! Yum! 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 There's the kitchen. Do you have the one bucket of petrified pumpkin seeds? Spooktacular! Now that we have the spooky ingredient to make our petrified pumpkin seed snack mix, it's time for the cooking countdown! <laughs> Ten. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one! <laughs> Bumble Nums, you've done it again! How does your petrified pumpkin seed snack mix taste? Is it frightfully delicious? Yum! Yum! <laughs> the ants! Scared the Bumble Nums away and had all the yummy pumpkin seeds to herself. That's so fun. Holden likes pumpkin seeds too. Arlo loves pumpkin seeds, just like the Bumble Nums. Mm -hmm. Naya helps mommy make some roasted pumpkin seeds. Those are really yummy. You can try different flavors. Have you ever tried that where you put on different spices, maybe some garlic, really yummy. Yeah, and Solomon and Khadija love pumpkin pie. There's lots of yummy foods you can make with pumpkins. Nice job, everyone. Oh, David Seth is here. Hello. We have a friend asking if there will be an episode next week, right before Halloween. And yes, we will be having a really fun Halloween party. Today is all about pumpkins, though. We're just getting warmed up for our spooktacular time next week. Ooh. So getting all the pumpkin seeds out of the pumpkin can be a lot of work, especially if you have a really big pumpkin. But that's the first step when you carve a jack-o'-lantern. Let's pretend to carve a pumpkin all together. You can get a pretend pumpkin. I'm gonna use maybe this pumpkin here. Yeah. And we can sing, this is the way we carve a pumpkin and pretend to carve a jack-o'-lantern all together. Are you ready? Got your pumpkins? Let's scoop them out. This is the way we scoop him out. Scoop him out, scoop him out. This is the way we scoop him out. This is our jack-o'-lantern. All scooped out. Let's make the face. This is the way we make his eyes. Make his eyes, make his eyes. This is the way we make his eyes. This is our jack-o'-lantern. Let's make the nose. 
This is the way we make his nose, make his nose, make his nose. This is the way we make his nose. This is our jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> now, the mouth. This is the way we make his mouth, make his mouth, make his mouth. This is the way we make his mouth. This is our jack-o'-lantern. A smiling pumpkin. Jack-o'-lantern burning bright, burning bright, burning bright. Jack-o'-lantern burning bright. This is our jack-o'-lantern. It shines so bright. What a pretty jack-o'-lantern we made. I like the smiling face. If you make a jack-o'-lantern at home, if you make a real one out of a pumpkin, or if you make our jack-o'-lantern craft, I'd love to see some pictures of it. You can send me your jack-o'-lantern and Halloween costume photos. I'd love to see what you're dressed up as for Halloween too. You can send them to me a couple different ways, on Instagram at Super Simple Katie, or on Facebook at Katie's Classroom, or on our website, we have a link in the description below for all of those things. You can send them along to us and maybe you'll see your picture in the classroom next week. Let's take a look at some of the photos that our friends sent us this past week. We got a lot of really great ones. Our friend Nella from the Czech Republic, she's been very busy making lots of crafts. Look, she made our confetti cannon and the baby bird craft and our parrot craft and it looks so great. Nice job, Nella. Our friend Eli from South Africa made a very colorful parrot craft. Looks great, Eli. Sabrina from the USA made our sweet dreams bear. I really like the big googly eyes. <laughs> Eva from Russia, look at what she's been up to. She made our sleeping bear craft too and was counting marshmallows during our camping episode. Remember that? And she made the baby bird craft too and gave the baby bird some food. What a good idea. Nice job, Eva. Emma Gabriel from the USA made our parrot craft and she added in some pom-poms. Just such a great idea. Nice work. Nai from Canada made our parrot craft too and our baby bird nest craft. And she used real sticks from outside when she went on a walk and I think it turned out amazing. Such a great idea. Our friend Callie was playing around with some of our resources and activities on supersimple.com and made a pizza with pineapple on it. I love pineapple on my pizza. Mmm, thanks Callie. Our friend Sarah from Colombia. wow, look at all this. She made our parrot craft and two baby bird nest crafts. We've got a whole bird family there. And the sleeping bear craft, so wonderful. Our friend Zyme from India made our parrot craft too. It looks great. I love the green color. Our friend Ahana from the USA, she made the parrot too. Looks so great. Sammy made a different kind of bird. Sammy opted for the ducks. So he made a mama duck and some baby ducks. I love your smile, Sammy. Our friend Finn went and visited some real birds. Finn looks very interested. Like, what's going on, birds? <laughs> Very cute. Our friend Levi from the USA is rocking out with all of us in the classroom with his ukulele. Thanks for rocking out with us, Levi. Raylan from the USA made our parrot craft too. Looks so good, the big wing. Raylan's starting a brand new school today. I hope it went well, Raylan. Hope you had a great day. Isabel from the USA made our fork flower crafts. This is one of my very favorites. Make flowers with forks and paint. It looks great, you did an awesome job. Our friend Aria from Canada, look, she's got her jack-o'-lantern ready. Looks like a cat jack-o'-lantern. Nice work. Our friend Henry made a Toby jack-o'-lantern. Look at that. And Henry's dressed up as the elephant from the Hickory Dickory Crash video. <laughs> it's a very super simple Halloween at Henry's house. Our friend Penny from the USA made the bird nest craft as well with real sticks. And look at those cotton ball fluffy clouds. It's such a great idea, Penny. We have some birthdays to celebrate. It's Alexandra's birthday this week. Happy birthday, Alexandra. 
Hope you have a wonderful day. Our friend Zarin's having a birthday too. Happy birthday turning two years old. Our friend Logan's having a birthday. Happy birthday, Logan. Hope you have a wonderful day. And our friend Laura is celebrating her birthday too. Happy birthday, Laura. A big happy birthday to all of our friends who are celebrating this week. Our friend Owen had his first birthday as well. And it's our friend Emma's birthday. Big happy birthday to everybody celebrating. And thank you so much for sending in those photos. We always love to see what you're up to at home. Oh, and Daniel turned one yesterday too. Happy birthday, Daniel. So exciting. Videl made a flamingo and two parrot crafts last week. That's so great. We get lots of photos now. So if you didn't see your photo this week, stay tuned till next week. Maybe you'll see it then. We want to share them all. all. We've been getting so many amazing craft photos. You're all doing a great job. Thank you so much for sending in all those photos, everyone. We always love seeing what you're up to at home. It's almost time for us to sing goodbye to our friends today. But before we do, I want to let you know that next week when we meet in the classroom, for the next two weeks here in the classroom, we're going to have our regular show at the regular time but it won't really be live because I'm going to be going to China for the next two weeks. I'm going to be talking to a bunch of teachers about using music in the classroom, just like we do here in this classroom, but we're still going to have lots of fun here in the classroom at the regular time. It just won't really be live. So I won't be able to do all the special hellos and shout outs that I do in real time, but I hope you'll still come because next week is Halloween. We're gonna have a Halloween party, woo. And we're gonna sing your very favorite super simple Halloween song as voted by all of you on social media, which is a lot of fun. So I hope that you'll join us for the next two weeks. We'll be here. It just won't really be live, but then I'll be back and I can't wait to tell you all about my trip to China. I'm really excited. Ben says, have fun. Thank you so much. Lucas loves when I play guitar. Let's play guitar and let's sing a little bit together. Let's wave a big goodbye to all our friends. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Goodbye to my friend Melody, who says, have fun in China. Thanks, Melody. Goodbye, Isabel and William and Willow and Julia and Ezra from Canada. I loved your parrot craft photos too. Goodbye, Kerrigan and Regan. Goodbye, Scarlett. Bye, Levi. Goodbye, Julia in Amsterdam. And Charlotte in Oakville. Goodbye, Evie and Eddie. Happy Halloween. Goodbye, Cora, Eliza, and Lincoln. And Josie from Mexico. And Henry from Woodbridge. We'll see you soon. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Goodbye to Leo. Bye, Leo. Goodbye, Stormy in Portland. Goodbye to Cora and Isla and Ethan and Georgia and Carter. Big goodbye to you. Goodbye, Aiden in Illinois and Alfonso and Albi in Brazil. Goodbye, David, Seth. I hope you had fun. Goodbye, Pearson, Kobe. Good night. Oh, he's in the Philippines. It's time for bed there. Goodbye, Leah and Scarlett in New Mexico. Ooh, Kai says, eat lots of delicious foods in China. I will. I'm excited to try the food. Goodbye to Adelaide in Washington. Goodbye, Henry, Teddy, and Relaney and Arivana. I hope I said your names right. Goodbye, Jason, Eli, and Kai from Houston. <laughs> Goodbye, Ace in Tampa. And a big happy third birthday to Avriana. I hope you had a great birthday. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Goodbye to Sanchez from Mumbai and Laura. Don't worry, Laura, we'll have lots more fun next week. Goodbye, Cam and Jack in Texas. Goodbye, Nora Joy in California. Goodbye, Martin and Joaquin. Goodbye to Newton in Portugal. See you next time. Goodbye, Salman and Khadija and Cooper and Crosby. Goodbye, Nicole Marin from Atlanta and Willie. Oh, Willie, I meant to say Willow. Willow and Harry in Wales. 
Oh, Wales is so beautiful. Goodbye, Nai. Goodbye to Ahana and Moana in Hawaii. We'll see you soon, everybody. Let's wave a big goodbye. Here we go. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. We'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. Don't forget to send me photos of your Halloween costume. I'd love to share them in the classroom next week. And we'll see you soon. Bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>